Today I've got another mystery box. This one's from a company called Southwest Tarantulas. Never actually heard of this company before, never used them before. But they had two spiders I've really wanted for a while. The Megaphobema Robustum. I've got a sub-adult breeding pair in this box. And I've also picked up a mystery box. So seems pretty well packaged so far. We've got a flyer for the BTS. Looking forward to going to that later this year. And their business card. Just get it up so you have their contact details. But I'll also show these in the description below. There's their logo. Let's clear some of this stuff out of the way and see what we've got in here. I'm guessing uh, this news paper bundle is the, the tarantulas. A little bit tight, a bit difficult to get them out of here. But I guess that shows that they're fairly well packaged and they should have been safe in transit. I'm guessing this package here is the Megafema, Megafabema Robustum and this smaller group must be my mystery box. Just clear out the rest of this in case there's anything else in the box. Just want to go throwing away a live spider. Oh, this is the heat pack. Still feels pretty warm. Yeah. They were shipped uh, 24 hour delivery. I think they were posted about 4 p.m. and the package arrived a little after 8 a.m. So they've only been with the Royal Mail for 16 hours. Just uh, get into this one first, which I think is, uh, we'll save the excitement for later. Right, something's not quite right here. That wasn't M Robustum. H Gigas, sub adult. Okay, that's a little bit unexpected. Um, Histocrates, species Bacasi. They usually call them species when they're wild caught because there's been some instance of hybridization with a species. And a sub adult cobalt blue. So I'm Yes, and they must be the part of the mystery box. Okay, so I've got all the spiders out now. It's a little bit tricky to get them out of that newspaper. They were very well taped up. We've got a um, curly hair, Brachypelma albiplosum. Uh, Lassidora Parahibana and then the two M robustums, female and male. It's thrown me a little bit. I thought they would have been uh, bigger and uh, I was expecting four slings. So we'll start with the Lassidora Parahibana. I've already got one of these. These spiders are everywhere, they're, uh, they're ubiquitous in the hobby and very often given away as freebies. I think they have hundreds if not thousands of slings in an egg sack. So at a small size, they are very, very cheap. Um, but they're still great spiders. Really get some nice size on them.
a bit closer in here. Yes. Clear this junk. There we go. Well, you can see the spiders come through the post absolutely fine. Just get them in the catch cup now. Okay, um, this is just a simple little deli cup. Uh, poke some holes in here so he's got a starter burrow and somewhere for me to top up with water if I need to. Just be very gentle here because um, they are very delicate at this size. Let him walk on his own. Just missed the cup. <laughs> My paintbrush now and uh, hopefully guide him in. There you go. And there you go. One simple little sling we house in. We'll go on to the, the next little sling, the Brachypelma albipelosum. Curly hair. Actually never had one of these tarantulas. Um, but I think again they are a very underrated species. They're quite unique looking. You get a beautiful bronze carapace on them when they're fully grown. And of course those uh, big fluffy legs that they're known for. Again, nicely packaged. Tissue's all slightly damp, not too too wet. And it's slightly warm as well, so I'm sure the spider wouldn't have been cold going through the post. These are known as one of the more docile species, but um, as slings, as with most other tarantulas, they are very skittish. So again, same same technique that I used for the Lassiodora. It's been a little bit stubborn. <laughs> just outside the cup. So I've got a paintbrush to hand so I'll just I don't normally recommend using handling at all but in this case um, if I get bitten it's my own fault. I'll be very gentle not to hurt the spider. And a sling this size, especially this species, a little bite isn't gonna do any harm. Just be very careful and get it in there. There you go. And another very easy sling we house in. Okay, onto the Emrobustum. It's the subadult female. It's a quite a unique spider, and I'll probably do a, a little feature on them. But you will no doubt see their um, threat posture, which is completely different to any other tarantula. Uh, they don't lift up their legs and strike with their teeth. They lift up they kind of bob up and down and lift their abdomen I threaten you with those hairs which are I think some of the worst in this of any tarantula species carefully clear some of this junk out there we go and it's like it's going to go straight into that threat posture that I spoke about. Um, lifting the abdomen up the air. I believe this is the only species of tarantula that uh, has this threat posture. Unfortunately, you can't quite see from this angle the, the colours on this girl, but they really are a um, beautiful species. 
I think the common name is the giant Colombian red leg. Got this stuck slightly on the tissue there. Okay. Just need to set up a little bit of an enclosure here. Very simple, so cocoa fiber, cork bark, and this is a plastic shoe box with holes melted through the side, and of course, sphagnum moss. There you go, this is the, the male. expecting the same sort of threat posture from this guy. Yeah, quite a feisty species this one. Not a spider that bites so much but they do they'll kick at you and throw hairs and stuck on his leg here. You can see he's got a little bit of a ball patch there where he's already been kicking. And I think there's quite a few hairs in this tissue. This is a absolutely gorgeous species, one of my favorites, um, one I've wanted for a very long time. So I'm hoping that these two will be my first breeding project. clear this stuff up and then actually I think I'll just drop him straight into the enclosure on this tissue rather than try and card it from underneath. I'm stuck. He's not uh, letting go of the bottle but at least that's given me a chance to get him off this tissue so I can clear out the enclosure. Although I seem to have made more mess than, than I needed to. make a bit more space so I can work here. And I'm hoping we can get some good shots of... Nope, he doesn't want to come out of that. There you go. You can see those gorgeous red legs where they get their name. These are a um, burrowing species. They like it moist. Um, and it's a real shame that such a, a beautiful spider is just going to be hidden for most of the time. They do make some great burrows, not a heavy webber, I don't believe. But that's a great shot. This is a complete surprise. Um, see the video. I've put this spider, I'm going to put it in one of the enclosures I set up for the Emerald Buster. So obviously I was expecting from the mystery box just a few slings. So uh, this is a, an extra large cricket keeper. Again this is a, another beautiful spider and one that likes to burrow. It's a, an old world so I'm going to unpack it straight into the enclosure and I've put the enclosure within this uh, underbed storage container so I've got a little bit of a safety margin in case she decides to bolt. Again clear all this shredded paper so you can get a good look at her. She's been more than a little bit stubborn. Uh, she prefer it, I think, when they bolt rather than just stand there because there's not a great deal you can do if they decide not to move. I 
nope, still nothing. <laughs> hmm. Just uh, give it a few moments and try and clear up what I can around here. There you go, she's shifted a little bit. Okay, and we can get a close up of her without all that junk around there. Um, I need a bit more light on this. There you go. Finally got her to move a little bit. Her abdomen's looking a little bit small, so I'll try and uh, put a couple of crickets in here this evening. This is uh, another gorgeous species. So we get some close-up shots before uh, we go on to the next one. And, uh, she's going to go out, so I think I'll put the lid on. And again, I was uh, not expecting to, to house four sub-adults, so I'm going to have to mix up some cocoa fibre while I get the HK gas ready. And I'll use the same technique that I used in the uh, for the sea liver den. Now this species again is uh, really interesting. Uh, they have their own unique behaviour. They can swim, and they can also live communally. Really great, but perhaps underrated spider. I don't think people quite realise how interesting these are. They've got a rep reputation for being a little bit aggressive. Um, I think defensive is usually a better word, but we'll go with aggressive. And they get pretty huge, seven or eight inches. I'm assuming this is a wild caught specimen because of the the way they've recorded the name, species Picasi. Um and I think there's a little bit of confusion on this species with a few other big brown spiders from that region of Africa um, coming in to the hobby and being mislabeled, misidentified. Let's try and turn, turn her around so she doesn't bolt straight out. Um, so yeah, some of the, some of these spiders in the hobby are believed to be hybridized. actually really really good size I wasn't expecting anything near this sort of size um, I'll probably look at doing a rehouse fairly quickly a yep. little bit of a half threat posture there I'll try and move her around to get her off this tissue but geez she's be four inches maybe a bit more Certainly not the sling I was expecting from a mystery box. Um, not that I'm disappointed at all with uh, with a spider this size. Wow, she's just stunning. Um, I think this is another species that gets a reputation as a another big brown spider, but um, you can just see the way the light reflects off her legs. Again, her abdomen's looking a little bit thin. So I'll get some food in there this evening. It's just a really simple setup. It's temporary. It's a, like a cheap version of a really useful box with holes melted through the side, um, basic water dish and a piece of cork packed as a starter hide. And there you go. Let's put a cricket in there and she snatched it up a locust sorry not a cricket she snatched it up before I was uh, able to get the camera back out I think we'll have some uh, some good feeding videos from this one shortly fangs are enormous I'm just uh, so 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 happy with this spider
just get this closed up now before she escapes. <laughs> 